thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you. I mean, is it too soon to celebrate or are the stats clear? Are we seeing a drop when it comes to the number of admissions in hospitals or does this have to do with the number of critical patients admissions in hospitals? Well, firstly, thank you very much for the opportunity and happy Women's Day. Thank you. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> happy Women's Month. Um, let me just start by saying the, the point you're raising is absolutely correct. What does it mean actually for us? And uh, this is well summarized by what um, <clears throat> the Premier said last week, Friday. And that's basically two things. In the first instance, we welcome the news of um, reduction in numbers. In other words, we are deeply delighted about that because it means uh, a <clears throat> reduction in the rate of infections. And secondly, it means a reduction in the number of people who lose their lives, which is a mortality rate. So in those two cases, it means good work well done by the provincial government. On the other hand, we have a challenge that the statistical modeling that has been done since the very early days of um, the lockdown had actually painted a picture that right here in our province in the last week of this month, August, and the early week of um, <clears throat> September, mm. we are entering the period of what has been correctly defined as the storm the peak, and that is where the numbers are <clears throat> expected to drastically increase. So for that reason, it therefore means we cannot be complacent because the numbers have dropped. We must be on the alert. We mm. must place the province on a high level of alertedness. Also because globally we have seen the behavior of the pandemic or the virus itself is that uh, those countries that had initially celebrated victory, we are seeing that now they are going into, uh, you know, renewed levels of lockdown right. because of what's called the resurgence and what, uh, and what is becoming the second wave of infection. So we must be on the alert. We must confront and crack reckless and risky behavior. <clears throat> we need to make sure that... Uh, we increase our operational efficiency mm. with respect to infrastructure, human resources, medical equipment, and of course, most importantly, PPE. Those are the implications of reduced numbers on the eve of a, uh, of a peak. So then I have to ask you, MEC, while the announcement uh, then is, is heard from you that we're seeing a drop in terms of admissions in hospitals, I mean, then we, on the other hand, hear from, you know, the Provincial Department of Health spokesperson, that's Mr. Kwara Kekana, saying there still seems to, uh, 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 there, there still is a strategy for, you know, increasing internal bed capacity to extend that you may need to utilize private sector beds should the need arise. Um, why is then that, uh, you know, strategy in place in motion, um, while on the other hand, we're also hearing that there's a drop in uh, admissions in hospital. Just, just as a matter of emphasis, as I was saying, that um, <clears throat> we should welcome the drop in numbers, but mm. uh, we are entering a critical period of the peak, the storm in which rates of infection are going to grow. And that's what is the behavioral pattern of the pandemic itself. So. Our, our statistics, our estimates are that the numbers are definitely going to increase towards the last week of this month and early September. That is why we are emphasizing the point of not being complacent, being on the alert. And that's why we are emphasizing we need operational efficiency, effectiveness and excellence performance to make sure that our infrastructure, which is more beds, and those beds need people, they need medical equipment, that we must do in the most efficient and effective manner, because as I'm saying, we can't drop the ball. We have to make sure institutional, human, technological and equipment capacity is scaled up to, and to prepare for the critical period that throughout the lockdown period we've been told it's definitely coming. Now it's right here. So as I'm saying, we must welcome the, the decrease, the decline, but at the same time, 
the behavior of the disease is such that definitely there's going to be a spike mm -hmm. at the end of this month. That's why we need more beds, we need more people, we need more equipment, and most importantly, we need to go into communities to crack on reckless and uh, risky behavior. So that clearly tells you that we are not uh, uh, responding positive to the numbers by actually relaxing our efforts to uh, combat the spread of COVID-19. We also have to make sure that the decline is consistent. We need to crack this thing right. and make sure that the decline is consistent over time. And we don't see the decline and spike uh, variations that are that causes problems. So we need consistent pattern of decline over time. Acting MEC, that's where we'll leave it. Thank you so much uh, for your time. That's the acting MEC of uh, the Department of Health. That is uh, Mr. Jacob Mamabo.